Gentlemen, welcome to the shop, or should I say to the lab, because I am working on a kind of research project the last couple of weeks. And what is it? It is basically a gravity battery, means it can store energy by lifting a weight here and uh, let me explain how it works so I am pretty sure some of you uh, have the same problem like me uh, you have a solar panel or wind turbine or any other source of free energy uh, and you have your batteries where you can store the energy but but uh, batteries are hazardous, they are expensive, uh, they go bad after a couple of years and the solution would be to have just a small battery and store the energy, the solar energy or whatever into another form and this is uh, what this thing here is good for. Uh, I have here a uh, mast or pole or <laughs> however you want to call it and here I have my uh, carriage or sled with some weights on it and they are hanging on a steel cable here leading down to this winch um, I used a angle grinder uh, gearbox here and further reduced the speed via a 3D printed uh, cogwheel system here. The thing is driven by a stepper motor, NEMA 17 stepper motor and the motor is also the generator. Uh, because these stepper motors are very good in producing energy when you spin them and to stop the weight falling onto my head here I have a brake system here with a ordinary RC servo so the RC servo uh, engages and disengages the brake here and here I have my <coughs> stepper motor driver the relays to switch from driving the motor to charging the battery via these two bridge rectifiers here and you may have already noticed I don't have a battery connected to the system yet because uh, that's the only way to to show you so it's just for demonstration purposes I hooked up a light here a light bulb and the brains of the thing is a Arduino Nano microcontroller and as I said this is just a, a research project uh, it's not made to store any significant amount of energy at the moment it's just to get my head around the uh, sequence of operation between charging and discharging so to speak and uh, I can show you how it operates at the moment seeing here 13.2 volts by the way the system is programmed at the moment for a 12 volt battery which has can we read it uh 13.8 volt floating so uh everything below 
12.6 volt uh, what I say is a low battery and the thing starts to charge up or top up the battery and everything above 13.8 volt is a full battery or floating voltage and it starts to put solar energy into the weight can, as I said I have momentarily hooked it up to my uh, benchtop power supply to mimic the high and low voltages of a full or drained battery so back on the tripod here to have my hands free to operate the um, power supply and I will start with raising the voltage to a point where I can simulate a fully charged battery and it will start to lift the weight and yeah basically store energy into into the weight system here voltage goes up and it starts lifting the weight voltage goes down and this is a normal voltage within a certain range nothing happens and And if I go down with the voltage here, it starts to produce energy and top up the battery. So now it puts the energy from the weight back into the battery until a certain voltage is reached and it stops. You can see here. 13.4 which is yeah a three quarters charged 12 volt lead acid battery and it stops sitting on the bench here and I'm going down with the voltage and it starts dropping the weight I'm going up 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 it stops and once I go further up it starts to lift it starts to lift the uh, weight and of course it stops charging the battery and stop so again on the tripod to see the brake action here And here a close-up of the winch system, lifting and lowering. Stop. Lowering. Stop. The relays. Lifting. Lowering. Stop. Lifting. Stop. And charging the battery. And of course, I don't think I need to mention it, but there are end switches, limit switches here and here, so the usual stuff. Today is coding day, so here is my code. It is not finished yet, but I will post the code and all the circuit diagrams onto my Pinterest profile. And here is the most important question of it all. Um, how much energy can we get out of the system? And I already did some measurements that's why I have multiple um, fuse circuits here for 
charging and discharging and I connected my DMMs here to the to the system by removing the uh, fuses and it came out that in this configuration in this small scale configuration I can get out about 50% of the energy which uh, I put in in the first time so uh, a 50-50 ratio it's not that great but uh, I have to say um, in a such small scale um, the electronics, the control electronics cons consume uh, a lot of energy and it counts in such a small system but I think if I would blow it up and make it 100 times bigger um, the power consumption of all these circuits here uh, it wouldn't matter that much of course you would need another kind of brake uh, 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 compressed air brake uh, like you would have it on a lorry or something uh, yeah maybe you could raise the uh, efficiency to I don't know 70% something like that yeah, yeah. but uh, the big advantage is uh, it basically could last a very long time 100 years or longer if you maintain it well uh, instead of I don't know five six seven years uh, like you would normally have on a any kind of battery so yeah no actual build project this time just a fooling around with this um, research project here I hope you liked the demonstration of the thing if so give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel leave a comment you can ask me questions and see you next time